Hey, what's up everyone? Tedrick85 here, and today I'm making this video talking about yesterday's World Cup Final between U.S. and Japan. And I, 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 as you can probably tell, I'm still pretty stoked, stoked at the fact that, uh, unless you guys have been living under a rock or something, people should already know, or at least heard that, uh, the U.S. did indeed win their third World Cup title, and... I, I, I gotta be honest, you know, I, w I was expecting them to bring their best, especially against the team that beat them four years ago, but I honestly did not s expect them to go out with their guns blazing right off the bat. I mean, within the first five minutes, it was already 2 nothing, and by the 16th minute, it was already 4 nothing. That You know, even the most optimistic U.S. women's uh, national team fan did not see that coming. I know I certainly didn't see that coming, and it's... Definitely something that we didn't get accustomed to seeing in this tournament, you know, that the U.S. have always had opportunities to get on the scoreboard right off the bat in this tournament, but have always failed to get the back of the net, but to see them going out there, bam, 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 just like that, with a 4 nothing lead inside 16 minutes, you can definitely tell that this team was really hungry for this World Cup title, and they just they just did not let up. And it was it was so awesome seeing, and especially Carly Lloyd's third goal that gave her the hat trick, which is the fastest and earliest, uh, well, not the fastest, but the earliest uh, World Cup uh, hat trick in history. And it's only she is only the second person to record a hat trick in the World Cup final. Jeff Hurst did it with England back in 1966 when England won their first and only World Cup title that year, but. Uh, that third goal that she scored, I think, is p perhaps the greatest goal I've ever seen in any women's game. I mean, it was just unbelievable, and you can tell, that, and I absolutely agree with the commentators in that, uh, whether it's uh, in the game itself or the Fox analysts in that, but uh, you can definitely tell she was just absolutely teeming with confidence at, po at that point. I mean, the first two goals she scored, they were per set up from set pieces in that, both from corners, and... You can definitely tell that the confidence was there, and she's also the first person to record four, uh, at least one goal in four consecutive World Cup games, and uh, she is uh, absolutely deserving of the golden ball that she got awarded to for most valuable player in the tournament. I know uh, I, I bragged about Re Megan Rapino, which I, I'm surprised no one called me out on that. I, I've been mispronouncing her name this whole time as Rapino, but... Uh, I thought that she was the player of the tournament, but Car Carly Lloyd has certainly stepped up and it certainly showed against Japan. Where the U.S. offense, I know I've been very critical of them, and well, not so much critical, but I knew they could do better, but she really helped the offense wake up in this game and that, and it couldn't have helped, it couldn't have picked a better time, and it couldn't have happened against a better opponent. I mean, they just poured it on Japan, and it was just awesome to see that, and and let's not leave out Lauren Holliday, uh, who scored the third goal to make it 3 nothing for the U.S. That volley was just incredible. I mean, the technique and the shot itself in that was just excellent. And the, Jap the Japanese goalkeeper, in her defense, really did not stand a chance in that shot. And, uh... But yeah, yeah, of course, Japan ended up getting a couple goals back to make it 4-2. But at that time, even... When Carly Lloyd scored that goal from ha from midfield, you could pretty much sense that the the game was pretty much over in that, and it, and it certainly was because the U.S. certainly, even though they got edged out in possession, I believe it was 52 percent, 48 percent in ja uh, Japan's favor. You could definitely tell that the U.S. instilled their will on the game, and they did so early, and they did not let up. And uh, Tobin Heath en ended up. Uh, scoring the fifth goal for the U.S. to make it 5-2, which is the highest scoring World Cup final in history, uh, in, in terms of women's World Cup final, and uh, this is the first time that the U.S. also scored five goals in the World Cup game since 2003 when they scored five against Nigeria, but uh, this was definitely the game that uh, most of the, if not all, U.S. women's soccer fans were waiting to see. I know this is the game that I've been waiting for a whole tournament. And uh, despite their early struggles on in the tournament, they more than deserved this title and that. And credit to the players for not giving up on that. And especially credit to the coaching staff, especially Joe Ellis. And I think she did an, an amazing job managing these players. 
and she absolutely deserves uh, plaudits for carrying this team to the first World Cup victory in 16 years, and, uh, but yeah, it was definitely a really special moment in that, and I, I gotta admit, I, I got a little misty-eyed when I saw the U.S. team getting their medals and lifting that World Cup trophy, because I remember back in 1999 when Brandy's Chastain scored a penalty kick uh, that won the World Cup for the U.S. Uh, in order to defeat China, and that was a special moment, and, uh, I know for fans such as myself, 16 years is a long time to wait between titles and that, and uh, it was definitely, and it, it's definitely been kind of struggling in that to uh, know that there's other teams like Germany and Japan and even Swede, teams like Sweden that's stepping up in the na international stage, but you just could not help that the U.S. eventually was going to get this third title and that third star on their crest, and... These ladies definitely deserved it. You know, they played their hearts out even when people started doubting them. You know, they never lost faith in themselves. And it definitely showed in that, especially during the knockout stage. They just progressively got better and better and better. And, uh, it, it, it's just, it's definitely one of those moments where I, I know for me, I'm going to look back and say, know exactly what I was doing and where I was at when this happened because it, it truly is a special moment. And it was especially special seeing Abby Wambach finally get that elusive World Cup title. And also to see Christy Rampone, which is probably going to be her last uh, game on the, for the U.S. Uh, team. At, at at age 40, she became the oldest player ever to play in a World Cup game. To see her and uh, a Abby Wambach lifting that trophy was truly something special. And uh, I thought it was a particularly touching moment whenever they were the last two to get on that stage to get their medals and that. I thought that was a very classy move on their part. and It, it was just, it's definitely, you know, I know a lot of people are uh, talking about whether uh, Sepp Blatter not being there, who's the head of FIFA and that that's been in trouble for uh, all the scandals that have been going on, on with FIFA and that. And uh, despite that, you can definitely tell that there was, the, they, there was excitement there and that, uh, just seeing them left out too for you alone, you know, they really didn't need all the glitter and that because the pride that they had in, in themselves and the support that they had from the fans and that was palpable and uh, you can definitely tell that when they lift that trophy and that and uh, it was truly something else to see that and uh, another thing I should say about this too is that uh, speaking of class is that how how much respect that both the U.S. and Japan had for each other. Especially when Hamari Sawa, who which which played in her sixth World Cup with Japan, came on and, and as a substitute, and uh, even whenever Abby Wambach came uh, onto the field late in the game, you could see uh, Hamari Sawa uh, giving her a high five and that, and uh, you can definitely tell not only the respect between those two players, but uh, even when uh, Sawa had a few opportunities in the box and she got knocked down, Hope Solo went down and uh, helped her back up on her feet and that. And uh, It's one thing if you win a tournament and that, but uh, to show good sportsmanship, I really have to give credit to both the U.S. and Japan on that. And I think that was a very, not only well played, but very respectable final where it, there was really no animosity, even though there is... A rivalry, there, there's no doubt, especially after Japan beat the U.S. in the 2011 World Cup and the U.S. beat them a year later in the Olympics and that, but uh, it was definitely nice to see in that, and this team definitely deserves to be seen as role models to young women across this country and that, because they definitely did this country proud, and I couldn't be more proud to be a supporter of them, and I couldn't be more happy for them to see them get those medals and left that trophy and that, and because it, it's certainly an awesome thing to see, and, uh, this has me excited about the future now, of course, uh, Abby Wampak's, this was probably her last World Cup game, and, uh, of course, Christy Rampone and, and, uh, some of the other veterans in there probably won't be there four years from now, so it's gonna be a different looking team, but, uh, the U.S. women have a golden opportunity to start a new legacy in that, and this, third World Cup title, it's definitely a good start to that, and, uh, and, uh, 
This third title, the DOS win, now puts them in sole possession of the most titles all time in the FIFA Women's World Cup, which is awesome. And, uh, that's just, uh, we just gotta see what happens in the future. I know I'm, I'm definitely not pessimistic at all. As a matter of fact, I'm very excited to see what this team can do in the, do in the future, Ned, and, uh, the offense has got better and better with each game, and the defense has been very consistent throughout, and especially Hope Solo, you know, it, Spe with the, I know I talk about Megan Mapino and Carly Lloyd and that being good players and that on this team, but if, if there had been another worthy candidate to win that Golden Ball, it would have been Hope Solo, even though she did win the Golden Glove for the best goalkeeper in that. But uh, all her personal struggles aside in that, she did a, a fantastic job in front of that net for the U.S. And the uh, fans should really not ask for anything more than what she did in the tournament because I thought she was just unbelievable in that and she definitely deserves to be in, spoken of in the same sentence as uh, Brianna Scurry who was the uh, the goalkeeper that uh, the U.S. had when they won back in 1999 who was also one of the greatest goalkeepers not only in U.S. history but in world history too so uh but yeah it, it's definitely this is definitely going to be something that, I, that I'm going to be ha on my mind for the next couple of days, and it's just, I'm just so happy that they were able to win this. I know it was 16 years in waiting, but to see the jubilation on everyone's face at the, after the final whistle was just incredible, and uh, I, I, I just can't, I, I just can't help but smile even when I'm recording this because of how exciting and that this has been, and uh, this really has been a really good World Cup tournament in general, not just simply because the U.S. won in that, which I think I'm going to make a separate video talking about my overall impressions of the World Cup as a whole in that. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it I have to say about this. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. If you have any comments on that, how you feel about the how the U.S. did not only in this game, but as the tournament as a whole, what you guys think about what's going to happen in the future in that, and that. Even if you want to leave comments about uh, individual players, not just about the team in the whole, what do you think about how Abby Wambach did in the tournament, or Curly Lloyd, or how awesome some of the goals were in that, and even talk about the defense in that. They did a fantastic job, too. So, uh, But yeah, please don't feel shy to say what's on your mind if you happen to want to leave a comment to this video in that. And I'm always looking forward to seeing what you, you guys have to say, if anything, in that, so, uh, but yeah, I think that I'm gonna leave this video, end this video on this note, so, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys again next time.